Hey all, it's Rory Williams here out in the vineyards here at our Rossi Estate in Rutherford. I'm here to just give you a quick update on where we're at right now uh, out in the vineyards. So it is the second week of May, which means it is growing season. And that is uh, for us one of the most critical and hours intensive, uh, labor intensive times of the year. It's when the vines are just going crazy. Um, we got a lot of heat last week. And so the vines last week were growing one to two inches per day. Um, so they go from looking like tiny little things that have just been pruned into full-blown vines uh, right before your eyes. It's kind of a moody day today. We actually got a little bit of rain the last few days. Uh, not really breaking our stride. We're keeping on going. Uh, it's kind of nice to have some cool weather. Right now we are in suckering season. So that means it's also known as shoot thinning. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of blocks here um, that we are have suckered, are actively suckering. And we haven't gotten a couple that we haven't gotten to yet and we're also getting to the start of bloom so here let's check out one of these blocks here we are looking at our hilltop or mid north block of cabernet here at rossi uh, we call it hilltop because it's uh, very slightly on a rise towards the center of the vineyard hard to tell from this angle uh, we, we give it the tongue-in-cheek name of hilltop um, but this is definitely one of our best blocks of cabernet this just got suckered last week and so if we go in tight here, we can see that in the inside of this vine is nice and cleaned out. There's lots of air able to flow in um, and reach all the clusters, reach behind the leaves. That's super critical for disease management because right now is also when mildew starts to attack the vines. And so that's what gets you know light and air into the canopy and really helps develop flavor and really helps uh, prevent disease so that we don't have to rely upon a bunch of chemical sprays to manage our mildew. Um, this vine is also, because it's been suckered, it's pouring all of its energy now into the shoots that we want. So we'll go out here on the cane and you can start to see some of the nascent clusters uh, that are not yet in bloom. So these are all, if we get up kind of tight here, we can see that these are all just still tight and green. In, a in about a week, these will start to be blooming out and that's what will eventually turn into the clusters. But you can look along the cane here, things are looking really good, and now the vine is able to pour all of its energy into these shoots, which eventually are gonna reach up above this top wire and, uh, and start producing the fruit. If we flip across the avenue, we get into a slightly different soil type and we get into our Cabernet Franc uh, grapes here at Rossi. So this uh, block was suckered a little bit uh, prior to the other block. So this was suckered um, I think like a week and a half ago um, But same deal We've actually had a little bit of regrowth inside uh, This vine canopy so you can see these little guys here are actually what we're going to be taking off uh, once we come back through but we always sucker the Cabernet Franc ahead of the Cabernet because Cabernet Franc Has already started to flower out so if you can look at it real closely, you'll see those little white dots that appear on these nascent clusters. Those are grape flowers. They're tiny little grape, grape flowers. We're not yet in full bloom with the Cabernet Franc, but we will be very, very soon. And we always want to try and sucker, especially Bordeaux Reds, before, the, uh, before bloom happens. Because that way they're pouring all their energy into those grape clusters and making sure we're getting a nice set. So now we're in a block called Front North, which is right up against the highway here at Rossi. And this is always the last block we sucker at Rossi. It's one of the more vigorous ones. It can kind of handle a little bit of extra juice. Uh, the soil's nice and deep here, so it, we always sucker it last. But we're actually gonna get, gonna get to this later today. And you can kind of see with this vine how different it is if you get up in close. There are just tons of extra shoots blocking all the airflow, how it's much more uh, restricted on the inside. So when we go through and sucker this vine, we'll be taking off all these shoots in here. Well, not all of them, because we do want some fruit. We'll be taking off suckers that come off of the trunk down here and leaving just the shoots that we do want. So we have right here, the spur that we pruned this vine to this spring, and we have one shoot two shoots and off of those shoots we're getting gonna grab the clusters so once we do this to the whole vine it'll look like uh, the the same way the vine over over in hilltop did 
Also, when we do suckering is when we're doing our primary training of any new blocks. So kind of a preview to the future here at Frog Sleep is a brand new block that we're calling McDonald block. Uh, my buddy Graham McDonald gave us some of the budwood from his old block of Cabernet over in Oakville. Um, and so these vines are brand new, just coming up the stake, and we're just starting to train them into form. And so these were the very first vines that we suckered here at Rossi because with these young vines, um, we'll kind of flip it over and you can see the trunk coming up like that. With these vines are the ones you want to give the most energy to and allow them to really, really grow into the future form of the plant. We're not really looking for fruit off of these vines this year. Instead, we're looking for them to grow vigorously and become nice, big, strong vines to give us great fruit in the future. So that's kind of where we're at right now in the vineyard. Uh, we'll be doing suckering for another good long while, really, uh, here, at, uh, here at Frog's Leap and really everybody else in the valley. So once we're done with suckering, that's when we get into leafing. And once we get done with leafing, we get into thinning. And then it's harvest time. Growing grapes is a piece of cake. Uh, so hopefully we'll be back uh, at you guys with another update in the future soon.